All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lian Duan, and I'm a content creator based here in Maryland. My goal with the channel is to be a resource to DevOps creative thought, tutorials behind the screen content, and honest podcasts. So if you are into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to join the creative crew. It goes a long way towards supporting this channel. And it's make sure that you never miss out. All videos related to Markdown and YAML files are on my GitHub. The links are below. I started new videos for Kubernetes security on DevOps view. So far we learned Kubernetes role-based access control and how to use our bike to fix electrical stack deployment issue. I run hands-on demo how to find the minimum base Docker image reduce OS packages, and use Docker multi-stage build to enhance Docker image security. Also, I show how to run Docker containers as non-root user to avoid privilege isolation. Today, we are going to be talk about how to scan Docker image for vulnerabilities with Sneak. Video topic is demo environment detail. Why do we need to scan Docker image? When Docker image scan is triggered, what is Sneak? How to run Sneak to scan Docker image? How to fix Docker image vulnerabilities? First topic, demo environment detail. I switched the demo operating system is from Oracle Linux 8.4 to Ubuntu 22.04 long time support version. The chair command is lsb underline release minor a. Next. Let me log in my demo box to run docker version command to check my docker version. Copy and paste. My docker version is 20.10.16. The scan target docker image is Lianduan training slash Spring Boot demo version v8. The docker image is from the video how to run the docker containers as non-root user. Let me close the terminal. Next topic, why do we need to scan Docker image? Docker image layers include operation system, application, and application dependency libraries. So you can collect one button to run your application. On the other hand, the Docker image has many attack surface on the different layers. As now, we understand why do we need to scan Docker image. When the scan happened, we jump into next topic. When Docker image scan is triggered, the workflow chart shows four security process steps on each software release. Let's go to each step. In step one, static code analysis and the dependency check. 45, Sneak, Prisma are used to static code analysis. And the OWASP dependencies check can scan third-party dependencies library. The tools run when the code merge in the code repository. If the process takes a long time, we can schedule a task to run them. The best practice, fix the code and the third-party dependencies vulnerability in step one. If vulnerability is fixed earlier time, we'll save developer and QA's time. Next step, check Docker file. There are two open source projects that can check Docker file. Hi to Lint and Docker Beach Security. In step three, Aqua Security, Snake, Prisma are able to analyze the Docker image layer. That include Docker base image and application dependencies library. And then step four, Aqua Security, Snake, Prisma, and Aqua Security are able to run cloud environment check such as Kubernetes, AWS, Azure. Also, scan the app in running environment by OWASP that. The first steps will go through each software release cycle or Agile Sprint. After each step, you get the scan report and then triage vulnerability because the report may have false positive alerts. Docker image scan is triggered on step 3 by Sneak, Prisma, or other security software. Next topic, what is Sneak? Sneak is developer security platform for scanning code dependencies, container, and infrastructure as code check. 
So far, we know why a scan Docker image needs and when the scan happened. I'll do hands-on demo how to run Snyk to scan Docker image. Why Snyk is used in my demo? Because Snyk is a Docker plugin. If you are a paid member of Docker Hub, the Snyk will trigger when the Docker image push to the Docker Hub. You feel free to find another security software to do the same thing. I believe the scan Docker image concept is important. Software is just a tool. There are two ways you can run Snyk. First way, download and install Snyk command line interface. Or we can enable Docker scan plugin. I will use the Docker scan plugin in my demo. The first step, get the Snyk API token. Open the URL app.snyk.io select account in your browser. If you're not logging yet, please try use Google or GitHub account to log in the Snyk free account. You will see the key in here. Click and copy the API key. After you get the key, next step, log in the Docker scan with the token you just got from the Snyk. Open my demo box terminal and run the Docker scan login command. After logging successfully, next task, scan application and the base Docker image. The command is docker scan hyphen f plus docker file name and image name. Then do a training select Spring Boot demo tag v8 and forward the scan result to the scan underline or underline result dot log file. Let me switch to my Docker file location and run the command. The location is under the exercise file of MD file folder. Open the integrated terminal in the location. Copy paste the command and run it. Scan so completed. Open the log file. The log file has two parts base image scan and application dependency scan. You will see test 19.1 dependencies for known issue from the 100 issue because my base image is out of date. Second part is third-party dependency scan result. 46 dependencies are scanned and 13 issues are found. If we want to focus on the application part, how do we do? Next section, scan app only. Command is docker scan hyphen f docker file name. Exclude the base image. That means do not scan Docker based image, also plus dependency tree, and ignore severity below medium level, same Docker image and tag. This time, we forward the scan result to scan app result.log file. Why we want to print dependency tree? Because we want to identify the vulnerability from third party dependencies or fourth party dependencies. If the vulnerabilities are in first-party dependency. We cannot fix it. We have to fix third-party dependencies, and then first-party dependencies is also fixed. Copy and paste the command to run. Open and check the result. For the section of the scan result, dependency tree. Based on that one, we know the vulnerability from third-party dependent library or first-party dependent library. Second section is application dependent check, same as the previous full scan result. And then final topic, how to fix Docker image vulnerabilities. The first step is triage scan result and find all false positive vulnerabilities and mark them. Next step, upgrade dependency libraries to fix the issue. Let me give you an example. Open the scan app result log. You see their clear direction upgrade the dependency library to fix the vulnerability, such as the vulnerability find jakarta.el 3.0.3 version, and the vulnerability fixed in the jakarta.el 3.0.4 version. The severity is high for the vulnerability. Next, verify the jakarta.el 3.0.3 is a third-party dependencies or first party dependency. The library used in my application we find the Jakarta.el library is third party dependencies. If the issue we found in the GXB hyphen runtime, that means 
the vulnerability is a fourth party dependency. We have to upgrade the third party dependency to fix it. There is other scenario. There is no pipe to fix the issue, such as native handler. 4.1.51, there is no new version to fix it. For that scenario, open the link on the browser. There is no issue fixed. Open the CWE number to try to find more detail. There is some example for the how to fix the issue in the code level. Next, move to Docker base image upgrade. Find the target base image first. OpenJDK 19 Slim is the latest release OpenJDK Docker image. Well, the OpenJDK 19 Slim cannot be used on my case because there is no Maven OpenJDK 19 Docker image published since multi-stage build used in my Docker image. So we have to use the OpenJDK 18 Slim Docker image and then scan the base Docker image to make sure the image doesn't include any high or medium vulnerabilities related to my app. Additionally, change the Docker file and rebuild my Docker image. Build stage, we used Maven 3.8.5, OpenJDK 18. Second stage, base image upgrade from the OpenJDK 8 GRE slam to OpenJDK 18 slam because the GRE Docker image release behind the JDK release. We have to remove Java C command and Java UI library as GRE Slim did. This is all my demo. All topics are completed. Today I shared how to scan Docker image for vulnerabilities with the sneak and how to fix the vulnerabilities. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was help and it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos comes out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in the comment section below. I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.